Now, they're called forever chemicals, and they are everywhere in our environment, in rivers, in tap waters, on our plates, and even in the hair of members of the French Parliament. Tests conducted on 14 French environmental lawmakers have revealed the presence of toxic polyfluorinated substances, Julia Siegel will correct my pronunciation in a minute, some of which they're actually banned here in France. And the results um, of that investigation is to be presented to the French Parliament today. Uh, a total, uh, some are calling for a total ban on this category of chemical molecules. And let's talk about that then with Julia Siegel. Julia, these are called PFAS, as I suppose is the simpler way to say it. So just tell us, first of all, what they are. Exactly. They're called PFAS. You said it uh, earlier. Pl pl I'm not going to say it either, but it's not easy, is it? Perfluorinated compounds, PFAS, there primary chemicals, they all describe the same uh, class of toxic um, chemicals that are man-made uh, that you can't find in nature and that encompass about 4,000 uh, different molecules. Why forever molecules? Well, because they are persistent molecules, so they don't actually break down in the environment. They build up in the environment and in our bodies, and they travel very easily through water, soil, and and uh, air as well. Now, PFAS compounds have been used by industrials since the 1940s, but unfortunately, we still find them in a multitude of manufactured objects, like, for instance, uh, cook, uh, cookware, packaging, even for food, uh, you know, stain-resistant and waterproof fabric as well, and firefighting foams. And why are they considered dangerous for our health? Well, it's only very recently that the harmful effect of PFAS have been uh, understood. Uh, and now we do have studies that have been conducted, and it's quite, quite well documented that it does indeed cause increased cholesterol levels, increased risk of cancer, especially uh, testicle and kidney cancer, adverse effect on fertility and on the development of fetuses, indoctrine, indoctrine excuse me, endocrine and immune disruptions as well. Now, it's in the United States that a huge health scandal shed light on the toxicities of these PFAS. What happened is that a farmer from Virginia went to see his lawyer uh, to talk about the fact that all his uh, livestock was dying, and he uh, suspected the DuPont factory of discharging chemicals into the river that ran on his land. And it, they did discover in the end that the factory was indeed releasing what we call PFAOs, a category of forever chemicals, and that the, the company actually actually knew of the adverse effects on health. And there's actually a film, uh, a movie that was made uh, telling the true story of this community from West Virginia. It's called Dark Waters. And here at, in France, it's not until 2022 that an investigation uh, was conducted in several cities in the south uh, of Lyon. And they did found huge levels of uh, these PFAS in the water, in the soil, in uh, you know the vegetables. And so it's still an ongoing story now. And that's why some lawmakers are calling then for a total ban on the compound. That's right. On uh, April 13th, uh, they, uh, they, they're, they submitted a bill and they're calling for the ban of the manufacturing, import, export of all products that contain PFAS by 2025. They want to implement also a systematic strategy and monitoring of PFAS in tap water because we don't look for that now uh, today in France, which... You know, when you say that, it's crazy to say that you don't check the tap water for these uh, chemicals, for these toxic chemicals. And they also want to establish a decontaminating strategy for polluted sites. Now, what's interesting is that in an article, uh, Robert Billet, who's the lawyer who unveiled this scandal in the United States, uh, he wrote uh, for Le Monde, for the, the French uh, magazine Le Monde, and he explained that the industry in the United States really tried to stall negotiations by trying to uh, stop the, the U.S. from banning the entire category uh, and going for a substitute by substance ban. And he says that this is what the industrials are probably going to try to do here in France. Now, our weekly show, Frank, France and Focus, is actually uh, dedicated to this topic mm -hmm. this week. So we invite you to go on our website and to check it out. All right. Thanks very much indeed as well, Julia, for coming in to talk to us about it here in the studio. Julia Seeger, our health editor there.